Hello everyone and welcome to The Blobber Plays Our Blood for the Sky God series in EU4 Last time We had some rebel problems But we did, did manage to get things done with Korea So now we're waiting for this Last little bit to finish And then we're going to keep island hopping across Trying to work our way down to South America That has finished So we will work on the next places that we're allowed to which is apparently... Wow. That's an amazingly long jump, but you know, small steps, I suppose. We'll get there. We're also waiting for our, our Diplo rep to come back so we can finish integrating there. And that's about it, I think. Maybe now that we have that new island, we might want to try doing a little bit more exploring. Uh, tell them to go here. Yes, split off three. Make sure that the three are the ones with the explorer. And tell him to try doing some more. Yep, we're allowed to do a little bit more. Might as well. The rest can go back to doing Giren. With the explicit command to run away in the event of war. Everyone forms up on the capital, join, split, one that doesn't quite have even numbers, we will hire another one. There we go. Other than that, we want to put our general away so that it doesn't encourage him to die. Now we click the button on the board, so we probably have an extra general that we don't need. We do, but you know, we'll keep them. Two in the event of war is actually not a bad idea. I don't think. We start on the next conversion. Start on that core. We have successfully colonised here. It'll only be a long time before they finish. Now what else do we have? We have Unite the Gentian Tribes. What will happen? Country changes to Manchu. Giren becomes the capital. We gain permanent claims on a, an area. We gain cores. <coughs> Bless me. And we gain new events and traditions. It also means that I think we changed to a Chinese culture group thingy so that Ming can declare their silly war on us, but we don't mind anymore because all we do is we just say, yep, have all this land. We don't care, we don't care, we don't care. We could retreat to here and expand along there. So and normally normally I would have said no, but we're sort of we're willing to abandon mainland China if we need to. Now let's have a look. So we have Manpower and core creation cost and tech cost and soon to be discipline. What stupid ones do we get instead? We get the same ones. And we've got some Yeren tribes. Don't care about the tribes. We do not we say to the tribes, we say we accept your demands. This isn't to be sustainable. It's just to get the achievement. And they did their exploring, so we tell them, look, check out that new coast that you could see. Now how quickly is that ticking up? To a month. We could try to bring it down below could we? No, we couldn't. So we'll just accept the tribes having having their rebellion. Ming, meanwhile, still looking big and scary in Beijing. Have they re-allied with the Korea yet? Yes. I think there should be some some sort of slider where you can trade additional war score for additional not allowed to be allied time. Like if I can spend 10 war score to get them to not be allies for 10 years, why can't I spend 100 to ban them from being allies for 100? <gasps> we can see someone. Panic subjects wears off so we can start finishing this. And otherwise we're basically just relying on the Tyrids as discouragement.
we will let that actually have... Yep. Is it some shady people? We'll take the prestige. We must select a different rival. Select. Yeah. So getting done. Now let's have a look. Are there any that we can solve through the power of raising autonomy? Not quite. Go up to an extra stability and we could finish this core and that might do some. But raising stability when we're about to have that Nah, do it anyway. Merge, merge. These have finished, so for want of anything else, we tell them to go join the other merchant ships. everywhere. They've gone, and we have eliminated them as a people. So they can't cause us issues ever again. And yes, they're going to cause us issues this once, but not ever again. go. So see people. Not the kind of people we want to see. We want to see the Aztecs, but we're getting there. Almost finished our mission with Muscovy. They seize control. Remove the stability. We don't really care what does it do for us. 
Development cost, tech cost, and idea cost. Already got the ideas we want. We aren't really going to be taking up anyway. All we're going to do is island hop a bit further down. Speaking of which... This finished, that would be nice. Can we get something to increase our colonial rate? Pangisania? That may be one of these border ones. No, we'll have a look. Pang... Oh, down here. Can we even reach there? We'll have a look. Yes, we can. Why not? For our new land. Oh, wow. Wow, just a sec. Looks like we might be heavily over our... Yes, over our force limit. So we just abandon all the... Trees. There we go. Now we're not. Problem solved. Muscovy love us. Their influence bonuses will die away eventually. We'll see if we can't reach any further. We can't. But we don't really need to either, I suppose. We can just speed five the rest of this, I bet. Naval research wrong. Lose prestige. Is it with Ming? I bet it is. The Timurids are useless allies. Huh. It isn't with Ming. What do you want, Japan? What can we give you to get you to go away? They really want this and that. Do we care? Not really. Not really at all. So we say... Have it all. We don't care. If it brings you into conflict with Korea, we would be happy. How they manage to keep both of them. Anyway, onwards, back up to speed 5. Still above for some. Okay. What about here? We don't want them. But we are almost out of money. So we say no army maintenance. We might even have to dump our missionary once that one's done. And what else? Costing us money. Our colonies, you say. Can't do much about that. I can, however, kill this fort. Whoop. Now we are actually genuinely out of money, so we go... More of that. Say... We will abandon our attempts to get this colony, I think. And the associated quest. That shouldn't have happened. Oh, we only retracted them, we didn't abandon it. Hudder. There we go. Anyway. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. We will get that. 
we're trying to get the extra colonial range, but for now, we just jump however far we're allowed to. We're allowed there. We're allowed here. We're allowed here. Oh. We'll go to there. At that rate, it might not be too far until we can actually do what we want to. Let's say come back here. We say have these. Buy an explorer. Do some new exploring. Everyone else return to trying to gain us money. Probably don't even need these anymore. You know what? We'll retreat our armies up to here. And then get rid of these boats. They don't do us anything we actually care about. We're happy to. Uh, we're happy to avoid everything that we can here. become their pretenders. Anyway, ducats. Ming would like access. Sure, it prevents you from declaring war on me. Siege, gain mercantilism. Why are they not allowed? Are they just choosing not to rival me? Looks like they're choosing not to rival me. Or maybe I'm not good enough anymore. That's probably also true. I'm not good enough anymore. Good! If that means that I can make them like me, I'm all for it. Exploration done. Oh, yes! We can almost see them! Go back to there with the explicit orders to run away if we need to. the claim, we don't care, we just want this to finish, and we can do maybe two more jumps. Yep, that is useful. Uh, a distant cousin of Hyowan Hei Yi Go has managed to gain the gratitude of the tribes. Many strong tribal leaders are demanding we change the future plans of succession to ensure that this cousin is guaranteed his rightful place as Khan. Whether they are motivated by true loyalty to our kinsmen or feel he could be easily controlled is hard to tell, but they would certainly not take refusal to follow their advice well. Sure, we'll kill off the new heir. That better heir. Especially if he's of age quite old. He'll probably die before the current king dies. Now we watch this, and we hope, and in fact if that missionary would finish, meanwhile, has any of these flattened away? No, when do they last till? They last till this year. How much do we need it to go down by before we can curtail them? 60. So we're going to need two of them to go away. Rival of our rival, Kui. Why not? Korea want their stuff back. And we say... How much? Sure. Does that make you happy? Is that increasing our own revanchism? It is. That's kind of cool. I've never... No, well... I'm not aware of having had this been a meaningful help to me before. But at the moment, it actually is a lot of Horde Unity. Anyway, what can we do? You 
know, I think it might be more worthwhile to just abandon an army altogether. You proved useless, so we don't care about you anymore. There we go, we're back in the positives. And now that we aren't converting... Oh no, we already got rid of him. Cool. How much are we making? Two a week? That means we can afford one more... And this has lowered this enough so that we could actually curtail their influence. Might as well. It's our tech cost a bit more manageable. And now they will never have any control again. There are some Corchin Separatists that we will try to deal with by this means. This is the problem. No, nah, that takes too long. Bohemia is the Emperor. Well done, Bohemia. This is about a third... no, four tenths done. Manchuria, maybe Alaska. Or at least Manchuria and Siberia. When do our pieces end? Japan is six years away, they'll probably go for us again. And then Korea are about ten. Let's see, are they fabricating on us? No, they're fabricating on Korea. Good. The loan was renewed. Take our tech. No, prestige is better than military. Oh, sorry, other way around. Military is better than prestige for us. Ming love us as much as they can, which isn't very much. Why? They desire Jirim and Irizen. Good for you. Desire away. It's not relevant to us anymore because we are so close to getting where we need to. Oh, now that we can see California, we might as... Oh, we don't have the trade range. Fair enough. I was going to say we should start pushing towards our... Pushing towards Asia. They've all moved inland, which is interesting. I can't declare on them. But continue at speed 5. 600. What can we take? That one, which gives us more range, which we love. Two units. Not that we have any. Seven hundred, near enough. That'll 
do. Make our king a leader, make our prince a leader. The king is a bit better. <clears throat> so we'll deal with the king. Sometimes only numbers matter. Oh, are you at war with Claradel? Yeah, you are. Yeah, because they saw this battle happening. Let's see if we can't race them there. Race. Bugger. Well, well done, Ming. Might as well drop all of these but one. There we go. This colony is about to finish. New and improved colonial range. What we can afford to do from here is. Oh. Oh. Grab our boats. Tell them to go to here. I'll actually wait, because it looks like we might be able to reach all the way that we need to for the achievement. We would like. Ghost. Kodiak as well, or at least we're halfway there and it will start speeding up as the chance to get bonus colonists comes up. Yep, we can see one and we can reach it. Go, go, us. Gain autonomy, could care less. This is the hopes and dreams of our nation. Have now Quattle as your syncretic faith. Now Quattle, choose Now Quattle, lose prestige. Now Quattle is now our own. And ta da! Achievement unlocked. As a Tengri nation, have Now Quattle as your syncretic faith. Well, that was a nice break from our other campaign with mindless blobbing, the This Revolution Was Crushed campaign. Uh, I, hope you'll, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and this series, and that you'll join us again soon. Bye-bye.